Good morning, women on the rise. Are you ready for fabulous day three of the Fully Booked Challenge? I hope you're ready, I hope you're set because we are diving deep today. I've got so much that I want to share with you. So let's give it a minute while people find me. Uh, if you're watching back the replay, please do say hello. Um, there we go now facebook is starting to kick in hi jamie hi mommy hi elsa everybody say hello because it's always lovely to see who's with me are you ready are you ready to rock and roll for day three so today we are diving into soul always before strategy always because that is the magic that is the injection of your magic that you put into everything that you do so soul always before strategy and actually I still happen to love strategies and here's the thing you are already running tons of strategies in your business and some of those will be successful so today we're also going to identify those strategies and I'm going to teach you a way to make them even better Elsa oh my god you're here <laughs> I love it okay say good morning I'm super excited to be here today you need paper you've got to write some stuff down today like we are focusing big time we are doing some real work <laughs> well, everything is real work, right? Um, so we are doing some real work. It's going to be fun. We've got loads to cover and um, it's going to be a bit different. I'm, you might never have thought about what I'm going to share with you today. So I think you're going to find it really, really useful, but you are going to have to put your thinking hat on and you're, you are going to have to be here and listen with me. You might even decide to come back and watch this training again. So good morning we are ready who is loving the fact that summer is here this week um i haven't hardly been doing any work actually this week because i've just been loving the sunshine but i'm still totally white uh okay chanel gem uh so excited so excited after monday and tuesday your words are dynamite oh mwah. elsa you are gorgeous thank you so much that's a lovely thing so you've warmed my heart you've really brought tears to my eyes thank you you love my top i just found this this was in right before like sidetrack, slight sidetrack. Does anyone else do this? I, I buy clothes all the time, right? And I'm pretty terrible at buying clothes because I always buy black, dark clothes <laughs> and leggings that I kind of live in because I'm like the comfort queen when it comes to clothes. <laughs> and um, and so every so often, probably every about two months, I do a clear out of my wardrobe, I put them in boxes and I put them in the loft. Um, and we bought a couple of the boxes down last night because we were trying to find some of the bits and bobs in the loft for summer. And I saw this on the top of one of the boxes and I was like, oh my God, that's an awesome top. What's that doing in there? Um, so thank you. It's super old, but I do. I was like, yeah, I'm moving the top. Um, and I and then, so I've got all these boxes upon boxes of clothes in the loft that I haven't got a clue what's in there. I'm probably never going to wear any of them again. Does anyone else do that? Um, or maybe it's just me. Okay, Samantha, Kez, Robin, gorgeous to see you all. Are we ready? Okay, so first question. This is the first thing I'd like you just to type in because I would find it really useful. It's great feedback for me. And I think it also gets you to focus on what we've already covered so far. So I'd like you to think and share in the chat. Um, what is one takeaway that you've got from either day one or day two that you're going to either implement in your business or is going to help shift your mind or shift your, your soul in terms of really starting to move your business forward? So it might have been around the conversations we had in day one, which were things to do with you really owning the fact that this is a business. It's not a hobby. It's a real business. You are a businesswoman, whether you think of yourself currently like that or not and shifting into that energy shifting into that mindset shifting into fully absolutely owning all of you and your business fully and really um like dreaming big with it and daring to dream big i think as you hear it all the time right it's super sad but we overestimate what we can do in a year but we hugely underestimate what we can do in five or ten years just think five years from now your business could be an empire it could be epic it could be huge you could be impacting millions of people's lives if you want to not everyone will want to but you know do dare to dream big so maybe there's something from day one that you took away and you're like aha that was my little haha -ha, my little haha -ha, my little aha um from the challenge so far 
maybe it was something from yesterday yesterday i can't even remember what we talked about now <laughs> we talked about visibility we talked about the fact that you've actually got to be seen for your sole ideal clients to connect with you and be like hell yes of course i want to work with you so we really dived into allowing visibility to be easy and doing it in a way that's expansive from that place of already being the woman who has that epic fabulous business so what is it just what's one little takeaway that you have taken aboard so far that you are implementing whether it's implementing up here or implementing out here that's going to really help you start to move forward in your business um, Yvonne hello Annabella um, 42 degrees centigrade oh my gosh that is whew, epic um, Sam hello Jeanette it's a lovely top thank you you're wearing a green dress today love it I like this is typical I do this every May by the way does anyone else, like, oh, I, we are gonna do some work today <laughs> um, every May I book in an appointment to get my legs waxed and we have a week of sunshine and I have to wear my leggings because I have really hairy legs because I'm getting my legs waxed. Wax next week, it's such bad timing. And it happened, it happened last year and I think it happened the year before. Um, Kate, hello, Jeanette. Uh, your takeaway is self-belief and knowing what's possible. Boom, yes, 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 I love it. Self-belief is everything and it's choosing self-belief. So it's knowing that we get to choose whether we live in self-doubt or self-belief, but we have to choose it again and again and again until we rewire ourselves to constantly just naturally be in that state of beautiful self-belief. It's a choice. Um, so I love that, Jeanette. Sam, uh, your takeaway would be to put yourself in the shoes of where you want to be and go for it. So yes, put yourself in your shoes of where you want to be and take action, aligned, inspired action from that place. Show up as that version of you now. Uh, Annabella, I have to quit the BS and show up. Boom, boom, boom. Yes, absolutely. Uh, Marvin, my takeaway is that I can't focus on working towards my ideal day if you don't know what it is. Yes. Oh my God, I love all of these. These are absolutely awesome. Uh, you're thinking about your long-term goals and problems being internal. Confidence is a huge issue. So just what I said, Jen, it's that, uh, it's that decision every day. So as long as you focus and tell yourself that confidence is a huge issue, you will continue to experience confidence being a huge issue, right? You Confidence comes from getting good at what we do. Like we never feel yeah. confident doing something new. We can't. Um, so confidence comes from doing it. The more you do it, the more confident you'll be. And just choose to feel confident. What does confidence feel like for you? And choose to step into it now and just believe it it's it's again just what i was saying rewiring your brain to simply choose to feel that no matter what uh, anna to let go of all the shoulds should should shoulds um and the real and step into the real business woman that you are it feels good to say that yes does it feel good to go i am a freaking amazing business woman because you all are and it's really owning that fully um i love that elsa it's not external stuff on the list that has to be ticked off but it starts with in boom 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 yes anything is possible when you come from the mindset of abundance yes oh my god these are freaking amazing comments thank Thank you. Um, calm down, Claire. Um, Sam, you keep thinking this time next year you have so so many ideas, but you want to go through your learning curve on the way. Yes, exactly. Yes, for sure. Focusing on believing what you can do. Uh, try reading that again, Claire. Yes, for sure. Focusing on believing you can do it. Also, do not dwell on ideas. Yes, just grab the idea and run with it. I love it. Um, you have to allow that inspiration in and take action on it straight away. Love it. Love it. Now, um, Suzanne, day one for me, shifting into mindset. I've been super productive this week. Awesome. Um, by being in that headspace, I totally love it. Um, I finally believe that I'm actually going to be a six bigger businesswoman. Yes, hell yes, because it's not actually that big a thing. It's like, absolutely, I'm a six figure businesswoman for every single one of you, and it is available to me now. Uh, not to play safe and to push more. I love it moving into that future so oh my god there's loads of these there's loads of them i love it maria lovely to see you okay just do it right Mwah. i love these takeaways they are epic if you just do that one thing by the way if every single one of you who wrote your one thing there just do that that is going to have a massive impact on the growth in your business i assure you 100 percent, it would be huge and there's even more we get to do so today i want to talk about as i was saying soul always before strategy and the strategy is still really important so let me explain what i mean by that um 
we use strategies all the time. The way that our brains are wired is to run strategies because lots of you will know, you've probably read stuff about how our brain works. We get bombarded by so much information all the time that our brain naturally categorizes it and organizes it in specific ways. And as part of that categorization and organization, because we can't actually take in all that information and consciously understand all that information, we have strategies that we naturally run every single day, all the time. So we are, as human beings, we are creatures of strategy. But the word strategy, because it's used in business and because quite often people come up with these big elaborate strategies, when we think of strategy, we can think of bloody hell. It's this big complicated step by step by step by step thing that we've got to do uh, that possibly feels really overwhelming. So I want you to think for a moment, just about all the strategies that you already run in your life all the time. So perfect example is we each have our own strategy for how we brush our teeth in the morning, right? All of us have a specific way that we do it. Some of you will pick up your toothbrush, put on your, um, your toothpaste, and then turn the tap on, wet it, bring it out, turn it off. Others of you might turn the tap on, then pick up your toothbrush, right? So you will have different ways that you run even a simple strategy like brushing your teeth in terms of what you do with the toothbrush, which side you brush first, whether you brush fast or slow. All of that is part of your strategy to brushing your teeth. But guess what? You do it without thinking about it. It's almost a subconscious strategy. So here's the thing, and this is what I want you to really take on board today. I'd love you to like own this. Strategies are supposed to make life easy. So business strategies should make business easy, not complicated, not difficult, not overwhelming, not like, oh, holy, I've got so much to do and I don't know where to start and there's, there's so many steps and it's all so difficult. Like, that's not the idea. Strategies are there to make life easier. They're, make, they're there to make business growth easier. Are you with me? <laughs> Are you with me, Sarah? That's okay. Uh, Jamie, your energy is great. Thank you. Um, I've actually, I went to um, a class last night and I've really hurt my shoulder. It's like super sore. I need a massage. Um, Maria, I actually only had a massage two days ago, so I can't really complain. Um, Maria, you've been in a more productive day. Love it. Okay, so tell me, who understands what I mean about strategies? Give me a hell yes. Does that make sense? That you are already running strategies all the time, almost subconsciously, in your life every single day, and your brain does it to make life... E Is this really annoying? Is it tingling really loudly? I've just realised it's, like, tingling away on my, 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 my neck. Um, so you all already run a trillion ton of strategies. So instead of us seeing strategies in business as being complicated, hard, overwhelming, difficult, let's start seeing them instead as something that makes business growth easy because you are already running loads of strategies in your business probably without even realizing it. And one of the best, quickest, fastest, easiest ways to really have a quick like income shoot up is to tweak those strategies that you're already running to make them even better and i'm going to teach you how to do that today uh, so marie we've got hell yes your strategy next week is to follow uh, your week's schedule of posts at least one a day awesome it makes sense sam good hell yes awesome yes 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 you're with me um i should have some tissues in here i've got a bit of a um, hay fever kicking in never mind <laughs> just have to like wipe snot everywhere <laughs> while I'm talking to you. Okay, so what am I talking about then when I talk about soul always before strategy? Let me tell you. Soul means you. Your soul. Who are you? What, are you? what do you care about? What's your message? What's your energy? What's your passion? What's your superpower? What's your magic that actually comes out in everything that you do? So for example, I love to run challenges in my business as a way to grow my business, as a way to bring in new people, a way to build that know, like, and trust, a way for you to get to know me, me to get to know you, and then I'll put an aligned offer out there, and I've got a freaking amazing offer that I'm going to be sharing with you later this week. I've got a brand new program that I'm super excited about. It's amazing. Um, so I'm going to be sharing more about that later this week, but 
it's a strategy that I run in my business. It's a totally soul alive strategy. It's one that I love because I love the whole process. I love being here with you. I love sharing. I love the fact that some of you will be ready to invest in a program and in yourself to act absolutely get those results that you want some of you aren't in a place yet where you can but you can still take a huge amount of value from this you can still implement this and you can still absolutely start moving forward and that means a lot to me that fills me up in terms of my personal values so challenges are a strategy that I run quite a big strategy that I run in my business to help my business growth however the way that I do a strategy uh, strategy the way that I run a challenge is going to be totally different to the way all the other coaches run challenges simply because I am me and they are them. And the importance and, and what makes a challenge successful is when you show up being all of you. So you see me in all of my glory, um, the great and the terrible. Um, yes, you hear me talk about <laughs> why well, my snot on my nose because that's just part of me. Um, you see my energy because actually I want to feel lit up, inspired, excited. I want to have fun in my business every single freaking day. That's one of the reasons why I started this business and I have my own business. And so, of course, I'm going to share that with you and I'm going to share that in a way that is me just totally being me. If I try to do this, being someone else, so let's say there's another coach over here who teaches the exact same thing as me, but she's a totally different kind of personality, right? Maybe she really likes structure and systems a bit more and she, like, she likes to be a bit more like clean and clean cut and all the rest of it, which there's nothing wrong with. There's no right or wrong. There's no better. It just depends which we prefer, right? She might run a challenge where she uses slides and she has like, you know, really in-depth wording and other, other bits and pieces. So the way that our challenge looks, is totally different. And that's because soul comes before strategy. It's the soul within everything that we put out there that connects with our ideal clients. So I will naturally attract people who are a bit more like me, people who are maybe a little bit crazy. <laughs> Give me a like, hell yes, <laughs> love heart if you're a little bit crazy. Um, so I will naturally attract people who are a little bit crazy, who are creative, who dream big, who are passionate, who probably are a bit messy and all over the place, who like, who, who probably say yes and help people more than they should, who maybe don't honor their boundaries as much as they should. There'll also be people here that I attract to a, a, a past version of me who are in that place of maybe struggling in their business, but they know they really want it. They've got a huge heart. They want to give back. Like naturally, I'm going to attract those people because I show up being fully me. Like this is all of me. <laughs> And that's why soul before strategy is so important because then you naturally attract the people who are your ideal clients, are your soul clients. And it doesn't matter, even if it's products that you're selling, even if it's nails that you're doing, hair, like whatever it is that you're doing, you still want to attract the right people to you because if they are soul clients, they will come back again and again and again. And not only that, you are going to love working with them every single step of the way. It's going to light you up. It's like, wow, I would do this for free because it's amazing and I'm having fun and I'm, and I'm enjoying it. And of course, like, and isn't that how we want to spend our days? So this is why soul has to come before strategy. You have to decide to be all of you when you show up in the way that you write posts, in the pictures that you share, when you do lives, when you speak, when you just meet someone on the street, wh like whatever you're doing, be all of you because it's you, it's your soul that they are connecting to, okay? Are you with me? Let me see what comments have gone over. This is me, okay? I thought I was crazy until Monday and then you met me. <laughs> I love it, Leonie. That's absolutely hilarious. <laughs> um, so true, probably, yes. So, right? Soul always before strategy. And here's a big, big, big one here. Because what happens is we can all fall into the trap of judging ourselves. And if we judge ourselves, if we do the whole story of, but who am I to do this? I'm not ready. I'm not an expert oh my God, they are so much further than me. Why would someone buy my stuff rather than their stuff? When we tell ourselves all these stories and we go into huge judgment, what we do is we put up a barrier. It's almost like putting on a mask, right? We put on a mask and we don't show up as the woman that we really are. 
Maybe we downplay ourselves. Maybe we get a bit apologetic. Maybe we hold back our true message. Maybe we don't share something that we're really passionate about because we're worried that other people will judge it or won't connect or they won't like us because of it. Maybe, um, maybe you tell yourself stories about, oh my God, well, to go on a Facebook Live, I've got to have my hair done and my makeup done and this and that and the other and all of those kind of things. And you might want to do those, but they shouldn't be re something that stops you. Because actually, that's not what people buy. People buy your energy. They buy your connection. They buy your magic, your essence, the thing that makes you, you. And so when it comes to this whole, um, when it comes to this whole soul before strategy, we need also to be tapping into, well, what is the message that you are sharing? And I mentioned this a little bit yesterday. What's the message that you share that you share that's even deeper than your business, that you're passionate about, that links to you. So it's got to be something that you feel passionate about, that you stand for, that you stand against, something that you're like, whoa, this is like, this is huge for me. So that's got to like, really, really like hit your heart big time. And it's also going to be linked to your business. So for example, maybe, um, maybe you're passionate about women getting to feel sexy and fabulous every single day. Um, and maybe you sell hair care products, right? And it's like, well, your message is you get to feel sexy and fierce and amazing every single day. You get to make an investment in you. You get to spend time on yourself. Like as women, we spend so long looking after everyone else around us. We need to look after ourselves first. So maybe that's part of your message that is absolutely linked to you, your beliefs as a person, and also to your business, your products, your services that you sell. Obviously, an easier one, there's probably lots of coaches and people like that in here. Um, it's really easy with coaching because the thing that you coach people about is something that you're going to be super freaking lit up and passionate about. Maybe you feel super passionate about um, teach people who want in relationships, right, or who are having relationships that aren't working. So often fall into the like looking outside of themselves, like it's the wrong. How do I find the right man? Well, we know because we've done lots of personal development work that the way we find the right man is we go inside first and we do the work on ourselves first. We freaking fall in love with us because when we come from that place, then we attract absolutely the right men into our lives. So what is the message? And I want you to type this in. I want you to share with me. What is the message that you share, that you are passionate about, that is linked to you and your business that you, that you need to be sharing more of? Because it's the way that you fully connect with people. It's the way that you hit their hearts. It's the way that you stand out from every other person out there who does the same kind of thing as you. Um, let me look at some of these. <clears throat> yes, that's you. Um, you found me from the ad for my last challenge. You're enjoying this one so much. That's awesome, Jeanette. Um, Elsa, morning. Sorry, a bit late. Do not worry. Vivon, wonderful. Julia, my competitors laugh at me because I'm different. I laugh at them because they are the same. Ha, yes, I love that, by the way. Um, seeing people happy, joyful, and authentic in their lives. Yes, love it, Yvonne, Yvonne. So that's like part of your core message. And what is it about that? Is it that like life's too short to be miserable? Or is it like we all get to be joyful, so why are you not choosing it now? Like what is it specifically within that? Well, I love it. Um, uh, helping women to feel amazing is what lights you up because you've been there when you didn't. And like, yes, absolutely. And we feel that, right? We get that. Um, living your uncompromised life. Marie, you know I love that. I love the whole, like, kick-ass powerfulness of uncompromised life. I'm like, hell yes, uncompromised life. That's what we all need to be living. Love it. Um, Maria, there's your problem. You know you're an awesome coach. You ask great questions. You help your clients to have great realizations, yet you're struggling with selling who you are. So I think you're overthinking it, Maria, because you know who you are. What's the thing that you're most passionate about? Is it helping women live an authentic life? Is it helping women live a life that's true to them? So is it about actually like forget living life for others and start living life for yourself? Maybe I'm just saying, is that the message that's underneath it? Don't overthink it. Keep it super simple. You do know it's the little ego in your head that's blocking it and making it feel like it needs to be something bigger um, or clearer or more different than it is. And by the way, this can come up for everyone. This is part. This is a thing that comes up constantly with your soul message in your business. It's really easy to judge it and to compare it. So it's not different to what everyone else is saying. It's not powerful enough. It's not kick-ass enough. It's not like whatever enough. That's BS. That's just your ego that's actually, um, that, that's putting you in a box and stopping you, sabotaging you basically from sharing your message and getting out there because it knows that when you get out there and you share your 
message, you're going to have a bigger impact. You are going to grow because of it big time. Um, Sarah, helping people to feel amazing and lose weight to live their best life. So it's that. It, so is it about actually you get to like look after yourself first, lose the weight because you are going to feel so so much freer. You're going to have so much more energy. Yes, exactly. Love it. Um, you want to create lovely memories for people sharing special occasions. I love that. Creating spe like beautiful, right? Absolutely love it. Um, you're very open when I write on social media about where you've been. Yes. So Sam, it we know for you, it's like li leaving the city and and the like confines of that behind and doing business for yourself and getting got the support that you need to grow your business um lucy education should help not harm who oh, that is powerful that is so powerful um i help young people thrive when they are struggling wow lucy that has made me feel emotional love that that's close to my heart big time because i used to be a teacher um so wow love it Get out there and share that, girl. Um, uh, you are here for a reason. You can heal your life. You can create the life you want. Gorgeous. Yes, Marie, that's it. Uh, Leonie, I don't want to cry. Like, like, come on, come on. I always have more wrinkles when I cry. <laughs> um, okay, so can you see there's all these gorgeous messages. You know what your core message is. <clears throat> One of the things, if you're struggling with this a little bit, um, I used to listen to a lot of Danielle Laporte stuff. I used to, I, um, she talks about core desired feelings. And it's one of the things I actually really like because it's really useful to tapping into our core message. What are three core desired feelings that you want to feel every single day? Three core desired feelings that you want to feel every single day and that you know your clients will want to feel every single day. So for me, Freedom is a big one. I want to feel free, free, free all the time. Do not try to cage me. I love feeling free. It's really important to me. So that's one of mine. Uh, another one of mine is I want to feel inspired. Feeling inspired is really important to me. When I feel inspired, I feel alive. It's like, it's part of living. It's like breathing. I want to feel inspired. Um, so that's really important to me. Feeling abundant is really important to me. Feeling abundant, feeling like, yes, if I want to go and buy something or if I want to go and enjoy a massage, of course I will and I can and, and I am. <laughs> um, so they're like three of my core desired feelings and can you see how they probably come through in my message, in my business, how I share, like the idea of freedom, like stop doing the shoulds and do it your way, be all of you, all of that is freedom based right um inspiration i talk about the creativity and allowing in inspired action and allowing yourself to feel inspired really important to me abundant the fact that all of us can choose to feel abundant now we get to live in a life that is that is abundant now and that's how we attract even more abundance to us so what would you say because you can type this in as well what are your three core desired feelings how do you want to feel every single day and it's going to be the same for your ideal clients. They're going to want to feel this as well. So when it comes to your soul message, when it comes to you doing Facebook lives or doing posts or doing ads or just talking to people in the streets or speaking on stage or networking or whatever it might be, um, you how do you share those core desired um, feelings in everything that you do? Because that's what's really going to connect you to your soul clients. Um, we're going to be going on to strategy in a minute. I didn't mean to talk quite so long about um, the soul bit, but we're, we're getting there. Stay with me. Are you with me? Give me a little love heart, a thumbs up if you're with me. Um, okay, so awesome. Let me see these core desired feelings that are coming through. Oops, Facebook's doing something weird. There we go. Uh, hang on. It's not letting me scroll through. There we go. Freedom, passion, trust. Love it. Happy, energetic, positive, confident, um, fun, free, fabulous, freedom, um, fun, freedom, abundance, free, flow, confident, happy, free, and inspirational, loved, happy, creative, gorgeous, gorgeous words. Don't they feel gorgeous? So when you're sharing, when you're showing up, it's operating from that space. It's choosing today. I am stepping into feeling free. Abundant, inspired, yes, feel it now, feel it like, you know that feeling, you know when it like, you can almost feel like the energy trickling through your skin and it's like, oh my God, like yes, now I feel it and it's like, boom, now you feel it, go and share, go and share with the world because you are switched on, you are ready to impact millions if you want to. Okay, so let's dive into, there's more of these gorgeous words coming up, I love them, I love them, love them, love them, gorgeous. So. Soul before strategy. This is the soul bit. 
you understand what I'm saying, right? You absolutely understand what I'm saying. You have to show up being all of you thinking, what's my magic? What's my essence? How am I making sure that I am fully injected into everything that I do, whether it's a Facebook ad, whether it's a post, whether it's Facebook ads that I'm going to run, whether I'm networking, whether I'm speaking, whether I'm creating a business card, um, whatever it might be, how do you inject yourself into it so it has your absolute essence at its core? Because that is what makes you different from everyone else out there that does similar things on paper to what you do you know that you are different I know that I am different to most other coaches out there but I might well have the same title my energy is totally different I'm going to attract my soul clients to me because of my energy so strategy who's ready for a bit of strategy let's talk about strategy Whew, hang on let me have a sip of coffee I don't really need coffee right now do I <laughs> hang on strategy. Okay, so I'm going to assume that you understand, understood fully what I meant when I was talking about the strategy that we run all the time in our lives to make life easy. Here's the thing, you are already running strategies in your business to bring in clients. And this is what I want you to think about. Love, 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 thank you. You are already running strategies, but maybe you don't see them as strategies yet. Let me give you an example. Yesterday, or maybe it was first day, Monday, I can't remember, I shared a bit of a st my own story with you in terms of when I finally kicked my own ass and, and started to take aligned action rather than falling into overwhelm and shoulds. I started showing up and doing Facebook Lives in this group. It was a tiny group at the time. I would just talk with passion. I'd share about what I was thinking about. I'd share my journey. And then I'd say, hey, I've, I've got a couple of coaching places at the moment. Message me. Let's get on a call if you want to. And from that, I got fully booked. Now, what happened is that I was fully booked for a month, I was fully booked for a second month, and then I started to feel like a bit scared. And I was a bit like, oh, like, uh, but like, it feels like this is just luck. I don't know what I'm doing. Like, what did I change? Like, one day I had no clients, now I do, but it, but actually, but how do I bring more clients in? Like, what, like, how am I doing this? I didn't know. I felt like I had just got lucky. And what was not so good about that is that because I didn't realize I was running a strategy, I didn't realize I could just continue to run that strategy whenever I needed to bring in new clients. So it wasn't, it took me a while before I realized, aha, the reason that I fully booked is because I started showing up, I started creating regular content, I started being all of me in the message that I'm sharing, I started inviting people and giving them a way to work with me, and I really touched on what people are wanting and I put forward that offer and then I got on course and then I sold. Does that make sense? So I was running a strategy, but I hadn't thought about it as a strategy. And it was when I started to see it as a strategy that I could then break it down and go, okay, so how could I make this work even better for me? Like, what are the bits that I can tweak? Is there a way that I could make my Facebook lives more powerful? And by the way, it was from that question that my challenges were born. Because I was like, well, if one Facebook live is powerful, what if I did like a whole week of Facebook lives that were all in a row and all super powerful? That would have a way bigger impact. Like, that's where this came from. It was years ago, but that's where it came from. So it's when we identify the strategies that we're already running and really own them as strategies that we can improve them like tenfold, a hundredfold and make them way more powerful. This is really important stuff. I hope you, like, are you with me? Because this is gold, by the way. This is the thing that makes all the difference. Are you with me? So my question to you is this. I want you to identify one strategy that you are currently running in your business to bring in new clients because you are running strategies. So for example, maybe you tell yourself, oh, well, actually, um, all my clients come from referrals. One of my ads were talking about this because it's something I hear a lot of my sole clients say. They say, oh, like my, my clients come from referrals, which is brilliant, but I don't know how to bring in clients for myself. So, actually, bringing in referrals is a strategy. It means that you are doing an awesome job at what you do. People are liking 
liking it and they're going out and talking to friends about it so that they come to you so once you see that as a strategy you can then improve it you could then put out an offer and say hey um because i absolutely love it when you talk to your friends your family about my business i'm going to give you five percent back for every new client that comes to me on your referral or I'm gonna give you like a free whatever like a free coaching session for every for everyone you um, talk to for me like you turn it into a strategy you can improve that strategy is this making sense Are you with me so what I want you to share and what I want you to write down now is what is one strategy that you are realizing now you already run uh, I also think I was just lucky with your clients, exactly, but you're not lucky, you're running a strategy and it's about identifying that, Marie. Um, posting a product story, post on Instagram every hour, maybe a free product with every order or a discount once a week. So, yes, and holy hell, that's a lot of work, Chanel. That is a lot of work. How could you make your strategy more impactful and less time consuming? That's one of the things I'd like to ask you. Uh, Lindsay, always asking clients if they would like to rebook at the end of a treatment. Yes, and so that's a brilliant strategy. How can you make that even better by, I don't know, selling um, uh, bundles, I've forgotten the word, bundles of treatment. So, you know, buy, buy six and get one free, for example, so that you're not having to get, like, and yes, still rebooking them, but they buy a batch rather than just one, one of treatments with you, for example. Um, blogging, Facebook posts that inspire people because it totally resonates. It's not really in terms of clients, but I do notice that blogs and posts make them reach out to you. So Karen, for example, how can you share those more? Could you be asking your friends, your clients to share your blogs and share your posts so that they get seen by more people? Do you have a call to action at the bottom of those posts saying, hey, if you've enjoyed this, come and join me here or sign up for my freebie here or like come and join my group here or speak your message me here, whatever it might be. Maybe if you love blogging, you could send those blogs in to some of the big online magazines who publish people's blogs. They're looking for blogs all the time. That would get your blog out to thousands of people. So can you see how once we start recognizing the strategies that we run, we can big time, big time blow up their impact. Facebook Lives are working, so that's a strategy, brilliant. And what could you do to make that strategy even more powerful? And the tip is, I've given a couple of ideas already. Um, refer a friend card, absolutely, yes. Um, so you're all with me. What I want you to do is I want you to write down, here's what I prepared, who remembers Blue Peter? Here's what I prepared earlier. Um, very messily in like a second before I went live. Um, so I want you to write your strategy down like this. Your start point, diddle da What's the first step of your strategy? A bit like when I was talking about brushing your teeth, like the first step might be turning on the tap or it might be picking up the toothbrush and toothpaste. What's your first step? What's the second step? What's the third step? I don't know how many steps you've got. You might have 20 steps, you might have four steps, I'm not sure, until you get to the end result that you want. So I want you to write out your strategy step by step. I want you to do that on a piece of paper. You might need to come back and work on this a bit more later on because obviously I'm not gonna just pause for ages on the live. Um, so I want you to I'll read through a few more of these, but I want you to write out your strategy step by step. Let me give you another example. Right, stretch my shoulders a little bit. Right, let me give you another example. So, networking. Brilliant strategy, right? And there are loads of fabulous like women's networking groups or mixed networking groups. There's like speed networking, there's breakfast networking, there's drinks networking, there's every kind of networking you could ever dream of. In fact, next week, I forgot about this, next week I was thinking we might do a little networking uh, group here. What do you reckon? On Zoom and you can all share about your businesses because you've all seen each other posting. Wouldn't it be awesome to meet each other and learn a bit more about your businesses? So keep a look out for that post. Let's take networking as an example, an in-person networking event. So maybe you've already been to a networking event and you went along and you talked to a few people and you listened to everyone talk and then because it's a bit stressful, you were like, I'm done now, I'm gonna disappear. You ran away at the end. But that, that's a strategy, right? You went to networking, you spoke to people, you listened to their businesses and then you left. Like that's actually step by step. How do you improve that strategy? Well, firstly, Super simple, you take stuff with you to share. So you might take um, 
business cards so that you can give out business cards. You might have a freebie in your business that you've got a link to or an actual thing that you, you give out to people so they remember you a little bit more. You might decide to work on your little like two minute, three minute speech, whatever it is, so that it really contains all of you and you put your soul into what you say in, the, in those couple of minutes. It might be that you improve that strategy by setting up some meetings while you're there rather than going home and then thinking, oh, I didn't like, actually set up any meetings or whatever so what are the things you can do to improve that strategy you might speak to the person who runs it and say hey this was amazing I'd really love to speak do you have speaking slots um, as part of this do you see what I'm saying so how do you take a strategy that you're already running and supercharge it by tweaking all those little bits of it so let me see what else has been written down. Asking customers if they want to join the next course. Okay, awesome, Yvonne, yes. Um, and, and what else can you even put in there to make it even easier and even better? Um, doing free taste sessions, yes, for new products. Customers then do reviews and photos for you, that's awesome. Uh, find the only way people show interest is when there is something free in it. So I wanna talk about this freebie thing because those of you who have product product-based businesses, it could potentially get really expensive if you're giving out actual freebies that cost you money all the time, right? You know, yes, of course, freebies have a space, but there's probably a limit to what you can afford to give out there. Here's what you do instead. You create an online freebie da -da -da -da, um, that's more about, so let's say you sell skincare. Instead of giving out a face cream, pack, you instead could create a 10 step process for making your skin feel fabulous for summer. And you write it down in a document and maybe you put it in Dropbox or something so there's a link you can share and you share that with people instead of always sharing a product. It gives you a different way of giving value to your audience. And the same goes for coaches and everything, right? If you're a coach or someone, think outside the box. How do you want to, like, coaches often create eBooks and things like that. Well, what is it that you want to give that might be a bit different, that really has your soul in it, so that you stand out to those clients, so that it feels fabulous, and so that it's created, so it only takes that one time to create it, and then you're sharing it again and again and again. Right, what else is coming up? I'm a complete nutcase and a very bubbly person. I love it. Let everyone see that, Elsa. Um, Alison, uh, staying in touch with previous clients, conducted a pagan hand festing recently. Now their daughter wants me to do their baby. Gorgeous, right? Yes, and that's really important. You know, it makes a massive impact on your business when you're not just bringing in a client, doing that thing with them, and then it's like goodbye forever. Like if you've got a journey that you can take clients on so that maybe they do something a bit different with you after the first thing or a bit different, so you've got some different things that you offer within your business and you've got this client journey that they can go through, then that's gonna make a huge impact the amount of new people you have to find, because we know we don't find them, we know we attract them to your business all the time. Um, posting daily on Facebook and Instagram, better strategy it would be uh, would be to get a challenge going. Yes, selective face-to-face -face networking. So here's here's an example. Those, there are a lot of experts who tell you you need to be posting a trillion times a day on all the different platforms. You need to be here, there, and bloody everywhere, and it can feel really overwhelming. And before you know it, you've spent all your all your day posting on stuff right not fun so what's different ways that you can make that more effective well here's one way super simple um and i haven't done this for a while but i used to do it consistently and i am going to start doing it again so i used to do a facebook live on my business page every monday one a week by the way not one every single day one a week however I would then make sure that live had as big an impact as possible because I would boost the post. Now, if I only had two pounds to boost it, I would only boost it for two pounds and a few hundred people would see it. If I wanted to put 10 pounds in it, a few number of thousand people would see it. If I put 100 pounds into it, like thousands and thousands of people would see it, right? So it's not necessarily about creating more content it's what are you doing with the content that you're creating how can you be smart about it so that you're not constantly doing new things again and again and again so instead you're getting them out there a little bit more asking family and friends to share it having um i remember something i, I wasn't very good at it because i'm not good at stuff like this but there was once a group i was invited to on instagram there was five people and they each liked and shared each of each other's posts to help have a bigger organic reach there's so many different things that you can do claire you have hung up 
what do you mean I hung up? Have I disappeared? Am I still here? Can you still hear me? Um, give me a little love heart if you can still hear me because I'm like, am I talking to myself? Um, you just got an aha moment. First, you need to identify your current strategy and then tweak it a little bit to improve it. Yes, 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 Mimi, that's exactly it. First, identify your current strategy and then tweak it to improve it. Boom, you've said it in a sentence. That's exactly it. Um, okay, is this making sense? Do you feel like you can do something like this? So, once you have identified a current strategy that you are using, and you have identified one or two or maybe three ways that you can improve that strategy, when you go and do this, and add in the factor of soul, you put in all your soul and your essence into it, your strategy, boom, is set on fire. It will become way more impactful, way more energetically aligned, way more powerful in terms of attracting your ideal clients to you. Do you do you get it? Like how much sense does that make? Like it's a no-brainer. So I want to know what's the couple of things you're gonna do. You hear me, you hear me, I'm here. Good. <laughs> it must have been your and Marie. That's okay. Um so here's the thing. Thank you for the love hearts by the way. Always nice to get a few extra love hearts. Um <clears throat> What are the couple of things that you're going to do to improve a strategy that you're currently running to supercharge it? That's what I want you to put in the comments. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. What, what is one or two or three things that you're going to do to supercharge your current strategy? And as you're writing that, I'm going to have a quick look at my notes to see what else I wanted to talk about. Da -da -da. Okay, I think we've done, I think we've shared everything. So, as you see, soul before strategy, because that's your magic, that's what makes you stand out. When you question yourself and you think, but everyone else is doing this, why will people buy from me? Well, the reason people will buy from you is because only you are you. Only you can be fully you. Whatever your energy is, the way that you show up, that is powerful and amazing. So, for example, Maria, Maria's written a couple of things on here. So, you might have seen Maria's, I've said her name a couple of times. Maria, your energy is very different to my energy. Your energy, whenever I see you, I always think you're so like calm and focused. It's like a beautiful, like there's a peaceful sereneness around it, right? Which I just think is gorgeous. Super powerful, super powerful. Identify your like key energies and allow yourself to be more of that. Inject your soul into your strategy, make a few small tweaks to your strategy and you are going to get it working big time for you and having a much bigger impact in your business. Now, tomorrow we are going to be talking about money mindset because money mindset is huge when it comes to you actually receiving money into your business and getting to enjoy that money. Money mindset is big, 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 big. So we are talking about that tomorrow. And on Friday, we are diving into selling with soul, selling with soul because we need to sell with soul to get fully booked and feel fabulous in our businesses and I'm going to be sharing with you a brand new opportunity that I'm opening up uh, I mean I'm not going to tell you the name yet Shh, I'm not telling you the name yet um, but it is going to be kick-ass amazing awesome experience it's only for a very small group of women uh, there is the opportunity to also upgrade to a VIP in it if you decide that hell yes I'm a VIP um, it's gonna be at six months I I've, I've made a decision I really like working six months with people because it allows you to really get into flow to build that momentum and really get fabulously fully booked be at that place where you're making those 5k months those 10k months that feel or, or above because it depends where you are in your business that feel fabulous and amazing in your business because you are a businesswoman and you get to invest in you so that you can grow to that vision to that dream to that gorgeous kick-ass business that you know that you want you know you desire and you know deep down inside of you you can do it so if you know you are ready to rise um then we i'll be opening arms for places for one-to-one -one so we can get on a call not a call like this call uh, so I can actually talk to you and see you we can talk through what you want what your vision is what your dreams is what's been stopping you and we can see whether my brand new program that I'm super excited about would be super kick-assly aligned for you to absolutely soar you to that next level of impact income and just fabulously fully bookedness so 
keep an eye out for that because I'm going to be sharing more about that. Of course, there's still the competition on, so make sure that you like this, that you've commented, uh, make sure that you take today's action, and I haven't shared that with you yet, so here's the action. Are you ready for it? Today's action for you to take is this, and then I'll have a look at this because there's loads more comments come up, so I will also look at more comments. Today's action is share one to three ways that you can massively improve your current strategy. One to three ways that you are basically blowing up your strategy so it has a much bigger impact and is gonna get you to fully booked with far more ease, much more quickly, far more fun, far more abundance, and all those other gorgeous things. Does that make sense? Are you with me? So I want you to, don't type it in here, post it in our group. Um, okay, let me look at some of your comments. So. Uh, you're going to do you add more call to actions yes call to actions are so important share and boost posts and lives more awesome comb uh, Elsa actually tell mums in the other baby groups what you do yes 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 warm it up <laughs> I love it you're going to reach out to your online magazines and share your blog posts amazing Anna and Anna your story is so freaking powerful you are that your story is so powerful magazines are gonna absolutely want to hear your story because it's amazing um, Jeanette, you could. I'm sorry, I've got snot building up in my nose. <laughs> you could download your videos and share it to your list, um, as not everyone uses Facebook. Boom, absolutely. Yes, Jeanette. Marie, repurpose your existing content. Yes, fabulous. Speak to everyone at networking meetings. Yes. Um, and set up meetings and things like that, right? And give your freebies out at those meetings. I actually, uh, I don't think I've got it here. I actually created um, this was, I've swapped it. I've done a new website and it's not actually totally finished yet but on my old website I had a page that was full of my different freebies and on my business card I had the link to that page and I'd be like hey I've got like 10 freebies that are going to help you like shift your mindset grow your business like they're on here go and log in you can download whatever you want there's this and there's this and there's this and there's this and people are like oh my god that's amazing yes I'll go and do that um a really great way to take that initial meeting at networking group the next step um, call former clients Yvonne perfect that's super powerful struggling to post enough so you're going to change tack and try to create a few valuable posts instead yes and boost them out boost them out and make sure they've got a call to action and a great image they're some of the key things that are really important uh, boost your page uh, boost your post share more of your great posts awesome hold a virtual networking meeting for the English speaking community Oh my God, Annabella, yes, hell yes, that sounds amazing. Um, be brave enough to share your video, share every video to your personal profile. Oh yes, I love it, Jeanette, that is kick ass and owning it, I love it. Um, attach an online link uh, to Aftercare after posting on Instagram and Facebook, yes, perfect. There's something called, uh, Lindsay, there's something called Linktree for, you, for Instagram, uh, which is where you can put in all your links. Um, I definitely recommend doing that if you're using Instagram a lot. Uh, maybe you already do but worth me mentioning you uh, you're so loud you think you put a hot no you you will not those solo line clients will love you for being loud allow yourself to be all of you you are amazing you are perfect as you are and this goes for every single one of you you are amazing let all of yourself out into the world the world needs to see the full you uh, thank you for your beautiful words, Claire. You are so welcome, Maria. Um, Katie, you think you're going to start making little videos of nail designs and editing them? That would be absolutely freaking amazing. Yes, Katie. Uh, gosh, you're so looking forward to this. Hi, Rachel. We've just finished Rachel. You have to watch the replay back, but type in your questions. If anyone else is watching the replay, type in your questions. Let me know you're here. Let me know what your strategies are or want to see them. Uh, uh, boost more. Okay, there's just there's so many. There's so much good stuff here. I absolutely freaking love it. Claire, what, what do we do with the graphics in our notebooks? You could take a photo with it and share it in the group. Is that what you mean? What you just done now for your strategy? Share that as part of your thing. Take a photo of it. Um, and share it as, as a post in the group now so we can see it. I'd love to see it. Um, and I'll give feedback. Sabine, lovely to see you, Sabine. Uh, you're going to run some live events. Woohoo! Exciting. Uh, Elsa, you struggle with what to write and how to boost it. So, the reason that you're struggling with what to write is one of two things. Either you're not feeling inspired in terms of like you, those ideas aren't flowing through or you're judging yourself and the ego is blocking it and sabotaging you okay so one of the, or maybe two of two things actually possibly um so two 
here's the two things that I do around that. Number one, I get in an inspired state. So I will listen to something. I'll listen to a podcast. I'll read some of a book because as I do those things, I always get new ideas that start to flow through. Or I will meditate or have some quiet time. Like there's been times where I've had no ideas and I just get in the car and drive because when I drive, I a million ideas pop into my head. And what I actually do is I press record on this. It might seem a little bit weird, but I press record on this when I'm driving. I leave it on the seat next to me and I talk out my ideas and then I'll listen. If I know I've had some good ideas, I'll listen back to it because otherwise I forget when I get home and I'm like, oh, that idea, that idea, that idea, that idea. So find a way to switch your, flick your switch on inspired, feeling inspired because that's when you'll get those ideas to write. The second thing is don't limit it, don't judge it, don't be like, but that's got nothing to do with my business. Just allow the message to be the message. What is the message for today that I want to share with people? Now, sometimes, and this, there's a few questions about this in the group, a few, there were one or two people who were saying, you know, at the moment I'm actually feeling a bit depressed, I'm not feeling great, and it's really hard to try and do anything in my business from that place. Now, I get it. Now, one thing is you can share that, right? Think about how you share it because you don't want to share it from a place of being a victim. You want to share it from a place of, hey, like I'm noticing this is how I'm feeling at the moment. I'm sharing it because we can all feel like this at times. And, uh, you know, I think it's really important to like share this message and be honest. And da, da, da. that will be powerful. Like you showing up and sharing your truth is super powerful. So you, you could share from that point. You could share from that point and then saying, so today this is something that you're doing to help move yourself forward. You, you could totally do that. You could talk about, um, so, so that's one thing. The second thing is, um, depression is a state. Happiness is a state. Um, one of the things, and I, I used to go to a lot of Tony Robbins events, um, and one of the things he does every single time at his UPW is he will ask the audience, he'll say, who is like really, really depressed? Who's really depressed, maybe even suicidal. And a couple of people will always put their hands up and he's like, okay. So he'll go to them and he'll talk them through like how, how they're feeling depressed and suicidal and all these different things. And, he'll, and, and you can see this person really is in a place of pain, right? And then he'll, and then he'll switch. And this is where NLP comes in and it's, it's, it's very clever but it's also something every single one of us can do we get to choose and he'll switch and he'll say so tell me when you have an orgasm what face do you pull and like then the person always laughs because they're always a bit embarrassed like whoa what and he's like yeah when you have an orgasm what face do you pull and they're like oh he's like do you have orgasms and they're always a bit like uh yeah and they're like so so like what noise do you make and anyway so he changes the state of the person and before you know it, this person who was feeling depressed and doing depressed in terms of, you know, you could see their whole body language was depressed and down and all the rest of it, is not depressed in this moment. Instead, they're laughing, they're giggling, and they're making sounds <laughs> in front of thousands of people of, of what it sounds like when they have an orgasm. The key, the really important thing here is what we focus on is what creates our current reality. And yes, you will probably slip back into that you could if you are in a depressed state you will keep slipping back into the depressed state and you have to keep moving yourself out of it again and again what I'm saying is if you know you need to be active in your business if you want to be sharing posts if you want to feel inspired and I'm not just uh, this is just for anyone who this message is relevant for right now because um I think you know I years ago hugely struggled with depression it was something that I had to figure my way through and I think that as like creative women it's something that we lots of us have either experienced before or might even currently be experiencing. What I want you to start realizing is that you get to choose your state. Instead of focusing on the depression, focus on something different. Go and have an orgasm. <laughs> go, and, you know, go and pleasure yourself and have some fun and have an orgasm because that's gonna shift your state. I guarantee it um, and you might say yeah but I don't feel like it but it's like yeah but actually what's more important do you want to stay feeling how you're feeling or do you want to shift and sometimes let's be honest sometimes it's easier to feel how we're feeling like, I know there's been times where I've been really angry about something like maybe I've had a bit of an argument with my husband because he's not done any of the things I've asked him to do and I'm like you're not doing anything why am I doing everything and I can be really angry and I recognize I'm angry and I'm like hmm, do I want to be feeling angry no hell no I don't want to be feeling angry but actually do I want to shift this? No, because it's easier just to be angry right now, right? We Sometimes we just like want to do the easy thing and sometimes that's staying in the anger or the depression or the sadness or the whatever. 
So we have to just choose. Like if we don't want to be in that place, we have to choose to shift it. We have to choose to shift our focus and we have to do something, think something, feel something, read something constantly to keep on shifting us and get help of course as well like connecting with people ask people for support there's obviously a million other things that you can do uh totally off tangent but an important thing just to share okay are we done gosh we've gone for an hour again i keep thinking in my head before i start these i'm like today we're doing it shorter half an hour at the maximum and then i do a whole hour so thank you for being here with me today i will see you tomorrow and friday it's gonna be fabulous if you do want to know about my new program which is going to be kick ass me fabulous and it's going to absolutely get you to those five to ten k months to feeling fabulously and being fabulously fully booked um actually don't message me today message me tomorrow because i haven't put up the little page that's got information about it yet but do kind of get in touch and we can have a conversation about that i could book you in to get on a call with me next week because calls are limited um and i definitely can't talk to everyone so if you're a bit like oh i would quite like to work with claire and i want to be fully booked and i want to know a bit more about this then we can get on a call and talk about it claire have you produced a book have you produced a book or anything you can i can read um i have not really produced a book but i have written a little bit in uh sabine who is on here produced a book and i shared a little bit of my story in there it's called rise uh um if sabine's there i'm sure she can put in a link somewhere um because i don't have it at hand i haven't done a book but I've got loads of trainings, I've got loads of courses, I've got trazillions of posts and all the rest of it that you can find for sure. In the, oh, I should have said this at the beginning, I keep getting. When I'm creating content in this group, afterwards I put it in the learning section. So in Facebook groups now, there is a learning section. Up on the, if you're on a computer, it's on the uh, left hand side in the little, there's like a list of different things. The learning section is in there. If you click on that, you will see the videos for this. That I'm like as I do them, I'm putting them in there. But you will also see the last challenge that I ran, which is in there, and a few other bits and bobs of things. Um, so no, I haven't done a book yet. It's it's a it's a one day. I am going to do a book at some point, um, but I haven't I haven't felt it coming through me just yet. Okay, so let's call it a day. Thank you for being here. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Go and post what you are changing in your strategy to absolutely super fire it. And I will see you tomorrow at 10.30. Bye. <laughs> Go and have an amazing day. Bye.